Together, these Ghanaian, Nigerian and South African designers are the story of Spring 2013. The Lincoln Center here in the Big Apple is simply the place to be during New York Fashion Week. What makes it even more special is that Arise magazine has chosen five African designers to represent the continent, including our very own Gavin Raja. Gavin's US clients appreciate his meticulous craftsmanship. This luxury ready-to-wear collection was about to extend America's love affair with this African original. Hey, how are you, Yanis? Welcome to Fashion Week. It's always so refreshing to come to New York to the Big Apple and see one of our own. How are you feeling today? Slightly nervous, but all good, yeah. Feeling very positive about it and uh, stressed in a good way. I don't know how you do it, but you always seem to just reinvent yourself and come up with new ideas. What is this year's collection all about? I was inspired by a movie called this, A Summer Place, and it was a, a movie in the 1959. And, and in American culture, it was quite quintessential because it changed the way people approached life and a sense of new romanticism. The 50s was also quintessential in terms of it being this golden baseball era here, as well as a start of science fiction literature. So in a weird kind of way all of those things are melded together. The metallics, intricate brocade and detailed embellishing build on his superheroes theme. You know I wanted them to look like women who are very assertive and I think there is a new sense of feminism that's like kind of brewing. So they almost look like these comic superheroes. Lagos-born Tiffany Amber holds a masters in law but it's her design flair she's best known for. This fashion week's got so much energy to it. I mean, it really is a fantastic uh, week. What, what defines this week for you? I think this fashion week is more important for me because there's just so much focus in Africa right now. And having a collection of top African designers and the, the whole theme for the event is called African Icons. I feel really honored to be a part of it. So the buzz is high. We're all on high about it. <laughs> Let's talk about your collection. What are you going to be showcasing? My collection is called Rhythm of Africa. What I did was I was inspired by African musical instruments and African dancers and drummers, and I literally put it on print. Like the top I'm wearing now is just African dancers, and I wanted something that you wouldn't feel uncomfortable wearing, you wouldn't think it was a costume, and I came up with this. To interview Nigeria's Shemaye Benitie, you have to head backstage where he makes it his business to oversee every detail. How are you doing there, sir? Great. Hi, it's hi. always good to see the designer himself <laughs> doing the hard graft. Yes. <laughs> what defines your spring collection? The collection is called American Beauty and I saw this book by Clever Swanson Franks and it just led to a train of thought about accomplished American women and their relation to fashion and dressing up. Now, you're based in London, you're, you're born in Africa. Yes. Uh, what inspires you fashion-wise? Everything I see around me every day, all that I see, what I do, people around me, just stuff, everything. My sister, my mother, just girls, a bin, what I eat, what I'm doing. Like, I'm in New York and you have this like really urban feel. And then you're in London, it's quite peaceful and very luxurious. And also, high, high, like this high to low thing, you know? So it's like really high-end dresses, but that are worn like very casually and easy. They had the creative input of Cuban hairstylist Orlando Peter. He's so celebrated they wrote him a cameo role in the TV series Sex and the City. But what have you done with the girls' hair today? Today for the girls with long hair we have a middle part and we're gonna just curling it under beautiful blow dry. For Gavin's section we're gonna do a low looped ponytail in the back. Are, are there any particular looks uh, that, are, that are in fashion for, for the spring season ahead? What I'd like to try and do with this show, there's a group of girls that have very individual, great short haircuts. I'm trying to really showcase those so because I'm kind of bored of just the long hair and that's what we've been seeing for so long. The son of Ghanaian parents who immigrated to London, Oswald Batengs already inspired a Robert Redford-produced TV series about the expansion of his brand in America. Now he's ensuring others follow where he's led. Oswald, you, you rocked it tonight. You blew everyone away. How important is New York Fashion Week to you? Ah, well, my involvement here is just because I have this big love for Africa and I'm doing a lot on the ground in terms of development and infrastructure for development. So this show for me in New York really was about supporting African talent. One of whom is Amaka Asokwe of Makio, Designer of the Year at Arise Magazine Fashion Week. Makia, congratulations. That was a fantastic show. Thank you very much. I love the collection. How would you describe it? 
It's uh, well, it's inspired by secrets and human beings' inability to keep secrets. The one piece that really stood out to me was the uh, flapper dress with the tassels like you're wearing over here. Is that coming back into fashion? Well, you call it flapper, I call it lots of hard work. Because it's a Nigerian fabric called Asho K. And I've taken out one end of the thread and made it into fringes. And it's fully Nigerian because the loom can only be found in Nigeria. It's all about unbridled spirit and centuries-old tradition made wearable in everyday style. What is it about African designers that makes them stand out? They're unique. I think everyone is, has got very tired of the same dull, drab clothing. Fabrics are important. Colour is important. Africa brings all the vibrancy to life and that's what fashion should be about. The American press, celebrities and fashion gurus agreed. African icons are turning American heads. Is there any particular designer that stood out for you? Well, of course I love men and I love to see men in tailored fitting clothes. So I'd have to say the finale with Mr. Oswa was definitely mesmerizing. I love Gavin Raja, I love the embellishments, I love the long flowing maxis, he was just stunning. Same, I feel like it was really innovative and fresh, new, definitely great. I thought it was fantastic, it's so brilliant to see, you know, the African influence now in fashion so hardcore, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I, can, I couldn't get like any better for Fashion Week.